So a couple weeks ago, I did a poll to see what you guys wanted. If you wanted AirPods Pro, iPhone SE, AirPods second gen, iPad mini. After a couple days of voting, you guys voted on AirPods Pro, so that will be the next giveaway. At the end of this video, I will show you guys how to enter this giveaway. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, if you guys are wondering what wallpaper I'm using or where to get these awesome wallpapers, I want you to go ahead and head over to this Twitter account right here, Lux3Light. This guy makes some incredible wallpapers. There's both free and paid wallpapers. The vast majority of his free wallpapers are pretty incredible also. So go ahead and make sure you go over to his Twitter and check him out. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the first tweak of the day. Today we have a pretty legit tweak called Notification. Now this one was on iOS 12, it now supports iOS 13. The best part about this tweak is there is a three day free trial, so you can try it out, see if you like it, see if it's worth the $2 purchase. So we're gonna go ahead and start the three day trial. It's been activated. All right, so this is where you can go ahead and rescreen the device. All right, now that the device has resprung, we'll go back over to notification. All right, in here, there's a couple different options. You have the options to change the animations and the color of the animations. So for example, we'll go ahead and do a couple. Here's confetti. So that's what it'll look like when you get a notification on your device. Some of my favorite ones are edge. This is the one that I currently use. It just does a cool animation around the whole edge of the phone. Edge 2 just kind of spins around. Edge 4 kind of fades. But anyways guys, there's a bunch of different animations that you can use. So basically, if you get a notification and your screen is off, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Your screen will be black and it will light up only the animation that you have selected. It won't show the battery or the time or the home bar. It'll just be a black screen with whatever animation that you are choosing to use. Like I said before, this is the one that I currently am using and I absolutely love it. But this one is called Notification. It is $2, but in my opinion, totally worth it. I am planning on purchasing the tweak as soon as my trial runs out. So go ahead and make sure you check out Notification. The next tweak I have for you is called Colorized Chat. It's kind of a direct competitor to Dope Convos. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to customize your messages app. So I've already preset something up. So if we jump over to my messaging app, this is what it looks like. As I'm scrolling, the red will fade. It's basically a black and red theme. You can adjust the gradients and adjust the outlines of your messages, what the send button looks like, Pretty much everything that you would want to customize in messages is customizable. I've already preset this one up myself. But if we go back over to the settings of this tweak, like I said before, there is just a ton of different things that you can colorize and make the theme kind of match whatever style you're going for on your device. You can also import and export. So if your buddy makes an awesome theme and you want to use his theme or you make an awesome theme and your buddy wants it, you can go ahead and save your current setup and import your current setup just like you can in Dope Combos. However, this one only costs 99 cents. So I think it's definitely worth checking out if you don't feel like paying for Dope Combos. You can go ahead and check this one out. So moving right along, if we go ahead and take a look at my lock screen again, you can see that my face ID lock has now been changed to a middle finger. So if I go ahead and lock the device and unlock it, as soon as it recognizes my face, the finger flips up. It's kind of unique, kind of funny. So if we jump in the settings of this tweak, it is called latch key. It will allow you to adjust the position of the lock. You can go ahead and adjust what the lock looks like. So right now I'm currently using the middle finger. There is a bunch of different ones. There's also a couple themes in Cydia that you can go ahead and download and customize it to. 
You can also adjust the position. Right now I have it in the default, but you can also go ahead and put it up in the status bar. So if we go ahead and respring the device. Now, if you look up in the status bar, that is where the lock is. The little middle finger is locked right there. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it in the default position. You can also customize the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the Apple lock kind of looks like. So now, as you can see, the Apple is locked and as soon as it recognizes my face, it unlocks. Once again, guys, this one is called Latch Key. Totally free tweak, absolutely awesome. Completes your customization of your lock screen. So go ahead and check it out. This next one that I have for you is called Evil Scheme. This should be a stock iOS feature. Hopefully in iOS 14, they go ahead and make this a stock feature. So basically what it does is it allows you to change your defaults. So say instead of using Apple Maps, you want to use Google Maps. Or say instead of Safari, you want to use Firefox or Google Chrome or anything like that. So if we go ahead and tap add new right here, you can go and set, let's set uh, Google Chrome as the new default browser. So we'll go ahead and swipe back. Don't forget to go ahead and tap that apply button. It'll respring the device. So now anytime that I open up a link in the address bar, for example, right here, it's going to open up in Google Chrome automatically. It's no longer going to open up in Safari. So if we head back over to the settings of this tweak, you can do this for a bunch of different things. Google Maps would be a great one so that you don't continue to drive off cliffs using Apple Maps. It's a very simple, useful tweak that should be a stock iOS feature. But anyways, guys, that one is called Evil Scheme. It is 100% free. All right, this last one I have for you is called Rofi or Rufi, Rof, Rofi, Rufalin. Is this the Alan? It was Rufi's. You think I knew that, Stu? The guy I bought it from seemed like he was a real straight shooter. Anyways, we go ahead and we open it up. It is free. What it does is it adds a little quick shortcut menu for a couple different applications. So you can go ahead and adjust what applications that you want it to open up. So I already have mine preset. You can adjust the slider color. I like it kind of transparent. You can adjust the height, the width, the visibility. And so if we go ahead and make it more visible, you can see it all over anywhere that you're navigating through the OS. I prefer to have it kind of hitting, so I make it low visibility. You can't even tell that it's enabled. So if I slide it over and tap on it, say we wanna to go to Twitter, it opens it right up. It's just a unique little useful shortcut. You can go ahead and adjust how many shortcuts that you want. Four is the stock, but you can have all the way up to, it looks like infinity but I'm gonna use the stock four for my four most used apps. All right guys, those are your top five tweaks. If anyone wants to know how I got this clock theme, make sure to go ahead and check out my perfect jailbroken setup. I'll leave it in the cards right here. It has the theme that I'm using with all the icons and everything that you'll need in that video. All right, now for the giveaway portion. Here's how you can enter the giveaway in this video. So on this video that you're watching right now, make sure to leave a comment. You can comment anything that you would like. Try not to make it vulgar or disgusting or anything like that. Just go ahead and leave a comment. And as soon as this video reaches 2,500 likes, I will be announcing the winner on my Twitter. So make sure you head over to my Twitter, follow me on Twitter, I will pick a random comment from this video that you're watching and that random comment will be the winner of the AirPods Pro. So once this video has 2,500 likes and I'll go ahead and announce the winner over there on my Twitter. I'll be using a commentpicker.com to enter the URL of this video into there and it will randomly select one of the commenters. All right, guys, with all that being said, make sure to check out some of those cool wallpapers from that Twitter that I showed you in the beginning of the video. Go ahead and feed the YouTube algorithm the like buttons. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.